What's up guys, my name is Alex Chung and here are the five accessories that I use for my gimbal, my DJI RS3 Pro. Now, if you've seen my videos on the RS3 Pro rig, some of these accessories will seem familiar to you, but I've added in a couple new ones and I really want to show you guys how I use them on set so you guys can see what I'm doing on set and how I'm utilizing each of these accessories. So let's, uh, let's get right into it. Now the first thing that's going to be familiar to you guys if you've seen my other videos is going to be this monopod quick release. It's called the Lonzi Claw. And if I take it apart right now, you can see that it's just a base plate that attaches to the bottom of your gimbal. And then the rest of the plate sits on top of your monopod. And all you need to do is line up the plate and the base, and then you can just snap it into place. And the quick release buttons are right here on the sides. And then we press it and then it lifts right off. And then you're able to go and operate your gimbal. I use monopod for wedding shoots and also events because it's much faster to set up a monopod versus bringing a tripod, even something like a very light travel tripod. It takes a little bit more time, like a few seconds, more time to set up an entire tripod versus something like a monopod. I really only utilize one leg out of the three legs of a tripod. So as long as the monopod has the feet on the bottom, I'm set. All I need to do is really just sets the monopod on the ground when I'm shooting weddings, especially during the ceremony and also when guests are speaking during dinner. I set this thing on the floor and then I just leave it because I don't really need the movement when I'm shooting the ceremony and also the speeches. And I just film like this, just holding on to this lightly and just kind of like making sure it doesn't fall over. Never has, so. I think I'm good there. Having it on the monopod is also great for resting your body when you don't need to be actively operating the gimbal. So you can just have it kind of hands-free, but having your hands hovering somewhere around the gimbal so you make sure it doesn't fall over and you can catch it if it does. Now, when I'm not using the monopod, I usually have it set somewhere around the corner. I just leave it down on the floor. Uh, I don't usually put it up like this. I usually lay it down on the floor like that. Hopefully not exactly like that, but something like that. <laughs> <laughs> And then I will just keep shooting. And then when I need it, I will bring it back. I will grab my monopod. And then this whole thing goes on top like that. Okay, next up, number two. These are small rig mini NATO handles. I have two of them. They just attach to the side of the RS3. And I like holding it this way. It's a much more comfortable grip for me versus holding it here at the base at the battery grip right here. It just doesn't feel that good when I'm holding it like this. And usually how I would be operating is like this. I would have both hands on each handle and usually my elbows would be uh, not flared like this because that takes a little bit more out of you. I would have it tucked in to the side of my body like this and then I'm shooting. In the past, I have tried the handles where they come out a little bit more uh, out to the side. For me, those are a little bit more tiring for my shoulders. Um, I found that my shoulders give out way faster when I'm operating the gimbal using the wide grip handles versus something like a closer grip handle like this. So that's why I like using the mini natal handles because they don't extend too far out. They're sort of like in the perfect position for my body. I can hold this very comfortably like this for a much longer period of time. Now I have seen some people do the rig where you have one handle out to the side and then you just hold onto that handle and then also the uh, battery grip on the bottom. But the issue is that you're always going to have one side of your arm, whether it's left or right, that's gonna be heavier than the other side. So if I'm gripping it like this on the battery grip and also the handle, the right arm is always going to work a lot harder because most of the weight is gonna be on that axis, right? So you're not going to have the full benefit of splitting the weight evenly between both arms, which is the point of having the dual handles come out like this. It's not as tiring if you're splitting between two arms throughout the whole day versus just having the entire weight of the gimbal and the camera onto one arm and sort of sort of offsetting it with your other arm. It's not really, your other arm really isn't doing much. Um, if you're going to be using one arm on the battery grip. One downside of these handles is that it doesn't go low enough. So sometimes if you're doing like crazy panning movements, the pan axis will actually touch the back of the handle on both sides. So that is just something to be aware about. All right, next thing I wanna talk about is gonna be this sling handle. The sling handle is great for getting low angle shots in briefcase mode like this. I like using this because you're able to get low angle shots. It's a lot easier to hold the gimbal like this versus holding it 
with the dual handles and going down low like this, especially if you have a heavier camera on top, like my C70, which I usually use on the uh, on my wedding shoots and also on live event shoots. I mean, I guess you could hold it like this, which is I guess how most people would shoot low angle shots, but sometimes you get the uh, axis, this top axis on in the way in, in your shot, which is not very good. So yeah, I found that the sling handle here is a much easier way to transition from regular shooting and then going into low angle shots and then you're able to go back and forth really easily. Now the version of the sling handle that I have comes with this wireless remote that actually can control the gimbal here. So if I use the joystick here, I can. you can see that it's actually moving the gimbal head itself, which is great because if you go into the briefcase mode, you're able to still control it uh, with one hand. You don't need to use your other hand and touch the gimbal at all. When I'm shooting, I'm always gonna have my right hand on the sling handle because that way I can actually see the screen of my camera because most of the time the screen is on the left side. And if I have it on my left hand, there's no way that I can comfortably and easily see the screen on this side. And then my left hand usually is either on the battery grip itself or the handle in order to stabilize and sort of like smooth out any small movements that I might have by just holding it on one arm. There are times where I do hold it on just my right arm. Those are the times where I am like moving extremely quick, uh, where I'm like maybe like sprinting or sort of like doing a really quick walk. I like to have one hand on the gimbal and then the other hand will kind of like sort of balance myself out as I'm moving fast. But for the most part, I primarily use it with two hands like this. All right, number four, a right angle USB cable. This thing kind of flies under the radar, but I use this a lot, I've transitioned from like a regular straight head USB to right angle ones because they are a lot harder to break uh, your port or the, the cable itself. So one end attaches to the gimbal and then the other end attaches to the camera. Now the reason why you always want to have a right angle cable, especially the cable that uh, attaches to your camera is because it gives you a lot less protruding element out of the camera to accidentally bump into and actually break the port. Now, if I take a regular cable like this. This is a USB-C that goes into my USB-C port of the camera. Look at how much more it extends out from the camera. If someone were to bump it like this, it will actually push and pull onto the port itself. Especially if like, for example, the camera, God forbid, it falls onto the floor like this. The first thing that it will hit is gonna be this port right here, this cable right here. And if it protrudes out like that and it hits the floor like this, it's definitely going to bend and also potentially break that port and it's gonna cost you probably hundreds uh, in repairs to just repair a tiny little port. So my best advice to you is to use a right angle cable like the one I have. It's way harder to push on the port itself like this uh, and actually push and break the cable and also the port of your camera. So definitely invest uh, into one of these right angle cables on both sides, preferably, not just one side, uh, but both sides being right angle because uh, you also don't want anything to happen to the port uh, on your gimbal itself. And that will be also probably a costly repair. Number five, the last accessory that I have is gonna be the small rake weight reducing strap. Now the strap comes with two accessories. One is a little connector pin that goes onto the handle itself. And then the second accessory that they give you, which is this little base plate thing for the DJI RS3. And then you would just connect it to the side right here. And that way I can kind of wear it like a cross body strap. It makes it a lot easier for me to uh, distribute the weight across my body. And the whole idea of the strap is to have the battery grip resting onto the hip so that now you're transferring a lot of that weight from your arms onto your hip and also across your shoulder and your back. For example, if I'm doing movement shots, I can have the stem of the battery grip onto my hip so that way I'm not holding it too much with my hands. And then I have my right hand onto the sling handle itself. And then my other left hand is gonna be on the handle like this, and then I am just going to be moving it like so. And it's a lot less tiring doing it this way, especially the heavier your rig is, the harder it is for you to hold on to it for a longer extended period of time when you're shooting events. All right, and that's pretty much it. Uh, those are the five accessories that I use for my DJI RS3 Pro when I'm shooting events and also weddings. Let me know if you have any other questions down below uh, in the comments. And also I have everything listed in the description, so make sure to check those out as well. Until the next one, my name is Alex Chung, and I'll see you later. Bye.